Hello, fellas. Welcome back to my channel. I have an interesting topic I want to discuss today. If you're new, uh, please consider subscribing. But now let's talk about Jupiter, uh, giving you guys my overall take on what's happening and, of course, what is yet to come as you go further into February. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As you know, the month of February has started on such a positive note two days in a row, and the market is looking quite green. And in the next half hour, to be exact, we are going to be closing the daily candle. It's going to be important to see where the price of Bitcoin closes the daily candle, which is about half an hour from the time of recording this update. But if we're looking at the majority of the market, the market is looking really good. Of course, if we're looking at Jupiter, it's up 1.2. But let's take a further look and see what is happening. And of course, what we could be expecting as we do go further into February. So if we're looking at the price right now, it's currently sitting at 61.6 cents. It's uh, about 2.2 in both Bitcoin and US comparative, with the market cap currently sitting at $831, one cent million, and the 24 hour trading volume approaching the half a billion dollar mark. So, uh, so far, so good. The price is not looking too bad. And I'm going to explain as to why that's the case. But before we go into it, any further, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your due diligence and research when you're investing in crypto. So we're going to start with the poll that I did. So exactly a day ago, I asked everyone as far as the community. So you guys, I asked what coin are you most excited about for quarter one of 2024. And of course, as you can see, there are four coins listed. And of course, the fifth option was other, which you could comment down below and about 2200 people voted. And you can pretty much C Solana came at the top and Jupiter, about nine of the people from the 2200 votes that came in are saying that Jupiter is the coin that they're most excited about. And I'm extremely, extremely excited about Jupiter as far as this year and this bull cycle goes. I think the potential that it has right now is being overlooked, especially by the people who don't have patience. Of course, there are two different types of people. There's either one that requires the funds for their personal needs, which is okay because at the end of the day, we're no one to judge. And we're no one to tell who gets to lock in profits or not. But there are also these footers that food projects that are not instantly blowing up. And these are the people that honestly get left behind, in my opinion. Look at Uniswap's early days. Look at the majority of the airdrops that dropped initially. We do tend to see that sell off. And that's exactly what we saw happening with Jupiter. But I think the amount of allocation that's being continuously claimed is increasing, which is going to help Jupiter in the long term. And I'm expecting that we will see Jupiter bouncing before you know it. So let's take a further look. You guys can see this for yourself. It's breaking records continue to dominate stablecoin, USD, and on-chain trading volume over the past 48 hours. And not only that, this is the thing that's worthwhile noting. So you can see this for yourself. Jupiter airdrop claim has been slowing down only three of claims in the last 24 hours. So the total claim is now at $660 worth that has been claimed. So what you're seeing here is that less amount of people are claiming, and this does not mean that people are forgetting their private keys or they don't have access to them. Some people just generally don't even need to claim. Some people don't care. Uh, they just want to claim when the price is way higher. And it doesn't matter because you have, well, until I believe June or July claim that. So there's still a lot of percentage out there. I think around 85 to 90 will still be claimed. And maybe you could say 10 might completely get burned if no one claims it in lost wallets, et cetera, et cetera. So these are factors that not a lot of people keep in mind. But this number is increasing, which gives you indication that more and more people have claimed it. And of course, as this number grows, the lesser chance there is for people to come out and dump. But right now, the only three claimed in the last 24 hours is a bullish sign, in my opinion. And as far as traders go, this is a huge plus point for them. So that's that, in my opinion. And on top of that, this is the most exciting one. Bonco to I earned $1.23 million dollar in fees during the Jupiter launch on 31 January. This is the highest 24-hour fee earning ever recorded for BonkBot. And again, really nice to see. But now let's take a look at what's happening and why. The next few hours are very important. The next 25 minutes are very important. And as of now, Bitcoin is looking like it might be able to do that. So why is this so important? So like I said, in about 25 minutes, we close out the daily candle and we're seeing Bitcoin retesting the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level. We've seen several rejections, pretty much one on the 30th of last month and one on the 31st. But as I said, in about 25 minutes, if Bitcoin can push back into 38.2, which is only a percentage move and close above this level of resistance, 
I think we will see more upside because pretty much since the 12th of January, we haven't seen the price closing back above the 38.2 FIBA anti-retracement level. So that's why Bitcoin needs to get back to that level. And we still have about 25 to 26 minutes until that does take place. So what's next for Jupiter, though? As far as Jupiter technical analysis go, guys, it's still quite early to do on this, but it was launched around 77 Sentinels, around 50 cents, I believe, and made its way up to $74 to course. Not every chart will be able to indicate that, but 75 cents is its all-time high. And pretty much since then, we know about the sell-off that we did see initial sell-off. We made its way down to speaking about this 56 cents mark. If you bought Jupiter, uh, let's say you did not have an allocation and you bought this dip, which was just getting, uh, you are up right now 9.53. And speaking about an all-time high, for it to hit an all-time high, 75 cents is about a 21.5 increase. So what you're seeing right now on the hourly time frame is something quite interesting. So if this was the bottom, which was just yesterday, at 56.0, dollars As of now, we're seeing this upward trajectory forming on the charts on the hour time frame. We're creating higher highs and higher lows. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Jupiter plays out, but I'm expecting that Jupiter will fly sooner rather than later. And, and yes, I do expect that Jupiter will reach a more, then a lot of people think if I were to go on the overall market, so let's go to a $1.35 billion dollar market cap. You're looking at in between Algorand and Thor chain, in between Thor chain to Bitcoin SV for Jupiter's ranking at a dollar. So this is where it would be ranked at if that was the case. So, so far, so good. Like what I'm seeing here and the haters that hate on Jupiter, I'm sure are speechless, especially the ones that were hating yesterday. Uh, it has bounced back about 10. Some people were calling two cents Jupiter, which is something I can't wrap my head around. I honestly wish that was the case. If it was going to $2, I would go crazy. But again, that's my own opinion. But so far, so good. We're going to take it one step at a time. As always, let's focus very closely on Bitcoin's price. Like I said, the next 20 minutes are very important. Hopefully, we do close back into the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level, but I will keep you guys updated in the Solana update. If you found this useful and informative, smash that like button. I do appreciate that. If you're new, be sure to drop me a comment and click the subscribe button down below to enjoy more existing updates. 